Hey guys, welcome back to another Halo Infinite multiplayer gameplay. Today we're going to be checking out Ranked. We're going to be jumping in and play one or two games and see how we do. Let's do it. Strongholds. So here we go, we got Ranked Strongholds on Recharge. Not bad. Recharge is actually one of the better maps in my opinion. It feels really nice to play on in any sort of game mode really. Slayer, Oddball, Strongholds. Lay claim to the zones and defend them. Catch them as they run through. No. Get this guy on B. There we go. Nice. Poked his head out there just before he could cap it. Oh, but they got B anyway. Unfortunate. Oh, they're about to triple cap us here. Pick up this guy. Getting shot in the back. So they're probably going to come from my right here. Yeah, they're over at B now, so we should be pretty safe here. We'll move over to A. Uh, oh, mate, we're so lucky he didn't hit the headshot there. I have to say, I really love that it's BR starts in ranked right now as well. Oh, can we get the double? Oh, look at this sneaky guy. I can't hit him behind the behind the pole here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, also in, in Halo Infinite, your shields take a really long time to, uh, to recharge. Something... Oh, mate, run in with a sword. Yeah, something that I'm not really used to because in Halo, like the previous Halos, usually you get your shields back relatively quickly. But in Halo Infinite, you actually do have to search for cover and, and chill out for a bit to get your shields back. Because more often than not, I've jumped out of cover thinking that I'm, I'm sweet. And my shields are going to come back any second and they've stayed down for... Ah, oh, damn. What, that, that first guy beat me down and the second guy hit me in the head? Bloody hell, that was some teamwork. Well, so much for camping with the sword. That's alright though. Enemy team We're off to a pretty scored. good start here. 56 and 20. Oh man, that guy hit some decent shots. Bloody hell. Alright, so there's a guy with a sword up here. Is that... Oh, I was going to say that grenade should do a lot of damage there. Placed it pretty well. Alright, we'll move over to C here. Oh, sorry, A. We'll move over to A because it's always a nice rotation to go from C to A. Oh, we're about to get double teamed here. We sort of, ah, yeah, damn. I had to move... I think I should have moved a little bit more to the left to cut out that other person, so it was still a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's right. Team's doing decent. We're about to get triple capped here, though. But they're still... This game goes to 250 points, so... We got a lot of time here to get back into it. Did this guy completely run away? Oh, no, there he is. They traded. All right, cool. Good defense. Oh, I didn't get that last shot in. But as I was saying, the trades happen a lot less. So it's really... Ah, oh, got him. It's really uh, server dependent and, and how good your ping is and everything because it's pretty much comes down to the millisecond if you get a kill or not. Ah, oh, damn. Couldn't get that headshot on him. The enemy has captured Charlie. Enemy team scored. Stronghold out, that is there we go, nice. Sneaky headshot. Take you out. Thank you. Double. Got that's A and B. We're still getting smashed here. We gotta get our heads down, try and get back into this one. Your team scoring. The enemy has captured Oh, oh he went for the early beatdown. <laughs> Beatdowns in uh, Halo Infinite can be really sketchy. Cause if you just make take a few steps back, then it completely screw it up for the for the opposition. It's also funny if you get the repulsor or the thruster, and someone goes for the beatdown, you can always repulse them away, or oh, you can always rep repulse them away or thrust away, like behind you, like backwards, and they always screw up their beatdown because they go in for the beatdown, and yeah, obviously you push them in a certain direction. And then you pretty much win the fight outright. Like, I've done that a few times and it feels so good every time. Because it, it's just not really something that people are expecting yet. Like, Halo Infinite is still fairly new. And people just don't expect that to get pushed away from being able to beat someone down. Quite funny. We're going to have to rotate to B here. We're definitely pulling into the lead now, which is good. Are we going to win this one? Oh, nice. Probably shouldn't have won that gunfight. I missed a few shots there, but ended up being okay. 
to jump up here, see if we can jump down to B. Because they seem to have rotated to C. Your team scoring. Let's see them try to take it from us. Might just chill here, see if someone comes to take C. Yeah, very nice. Good stuff, good stuff. It worked out. Enemy teams. I'll rotate to B, hopefully. Power items inbound. Nice. Got a little bit of help there. That's why that wasn't a perfect... Ah, oh, damn. Defending in strongholds as well is actually really strong because if you... If someone's about to cap the point and you just step straight in there again after they leave, then it just completely captures it back onto your side. Like, if they haven't fully captured it yet. It's yours. Now... The enemy has captured Alpha. Oh no! Ah, damn. Yeah, like this, he's going to capture that all the way back. So all that was for nothing, pretty much. That capturing C, because we didn't quite get the full capture. Oh man, it's going to be a close game. <laughs> 186 to 175 right now. And the way the point system in Strongholds works... Actually, in, strong in uh, Strongholds and Oddball, actually, is that you can actually come back. You can literally be losing a 0 to 249 and still come back into the game just because of how the the point system works. Like if you've got two strongholds then you are the only team that is actually acquiring points. And I really like how they've done that. It makes for some pretty crazy comebacks in the HCS and stuff. Is he sneaking around that corner though? No. Oh, come on. Yeah, nice little headshot to finish it off. Good stuff. Alright, we'll rotate that A again from here. Team scoring. They're probably going to go cap C here, or B. Nice, he was weak as well. See, that's a super critical defend there. Because all that pushing on B they did just then was for nothing. 200 to 205. Mate, this is such a close game. Oh, what? How'd I get that double kill? I'll take it. I must have accidentally clipped the guy at the back as well, and he was super weak. Oh, Nearing victory. Haha, whiplash. Nice. Camo doesn't feel as strong, I have to say, in Halo Infinite, just because it doesn't go as long as you'd think it would in Halo 5. I think it went a little bit longer. But uh, I think it's a little bit harder to see people in all honesty. So I guess, you know, it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh, what? I didn't get that last headshot out. Damn. Victory. So what do we... Oh, nice. That was the end. So thanks for watching, guys. I feel like the ranked in Halo Infinite feels really good, really robust. I feel like they've, they've thought about everything a lot, and I really like how the battle rifle feels and the battle rifle starts and all that. So hopefully we can grind the ranks, maybe get to Onyx at some point. We'll see. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. And I'll catch you guys in another video. See you later.